everybody, so if you're watching this thrilling series that we've got going on, it reminds me of Flash Gordon and Ming the Merciless, in video 1856 we made this, which was our one-way bearing. So now on, and that's, it's, it's fantastic, eh? so nothing that way, spin that way, and it disengages really nicely. So the one-way bearing's working beautifully, but of course, now what we want to do is make a coil, and <laughs> coils are... Um, well, they're a subject of great debate. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a serpentine coil because they're a piece of cake. What I've got here is a template for that serpentine coil. So we need to wind it and stick it on there and then we'll be able to get it to generate. Now, when you're thinking about coils, you're really thinking about Fleming's right-hand generator rule where the movement current and field of magnets are set at 390 degrees from each other. So when you have movement in one direction and you have a field crossing other, the direction of the current is always going to be given for you and fixed. Of course, in a generator, the movement's the same way, but the field is going north-south, north-south, so the field is exchanging. So what we effectively want to do is have the current move one way and then the other way, we want to join that up somehow so that the net effect is the current moves only one way. Now we can do that really simply. Actually we just do that like this. You'll notice that the wire goes up one side and down the other side and so the current moves in the right direction. And a serpentine coil represents that. But of course there are one north and one south and we've got 20 magnets here, 10 north, 10 south, going north, south, north, south, north, south. So what that means is we're going to have 10 going that way, across, and 10 going down that way, making 20 in total, and that's exactly what that template is. So let's go and wind that coil. So to make this coil, I've got this massive coil of hair-thin wire, a bit of a wooden board, and two bolts with some rubber over them. And what we do is put the bolts in the board and just wind the coil round and round, and then tape it all together. It make more sense when you see it, so let's get on with that. And there's our coil wound. Now what we've got to do is jam it on this former. Incidentally, if you want three fares, make three of these. And then we just wind that onto the former in a serpentine. And when you've done that, that is what you get. Now on a practical point, you might notice on the coil, I put these little tape bits here to hold the coil together. And in that position, because it makes it a piece of cake, to then put the coil onto the actual former. Uh, we'll have a habit of springing off so I have 3D printed a little cover plate which snaps on the top. And the big question, will it work? Well let's hope so, we've just put a lot of effort in there. If we give that a spin up, I've got an LED right here so we can see if it's generating something. Ah, there you go! <laughs> there is our serpentine coil. Busily generated. Right, to size the coil that I needed, what I did was I took a bit of string, wrapped it around here, measured the length and added on 10%. It's going to be a little loud, but it's certainly going to be easy. That was awesome. I'm sure folks can come up with better coil arrangements than me, but it's easy to do and it worked and that's all I really want. So in the next episode, Flash is going to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory and we're going to put some electronics on this. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.